Hi everyone, welcome to Build It Yourself Laboratory. I'm Addy and I'm one of the many inventors at Build It Yourself. So I hope everyone's excited to learn about problem solving tricks. These are important building blocks for our future projects and will become tools that will help us succeed in our missions. If you can follow these problem solving tricks, you'll be able to build the best possible contraptions. So the first problem solving trick is to identify the problem. Can somebody read the dark text at the top for me? Identify the problem, set goals. Perfect. Now, can I get another volunteer to read the large paragraph? Um, I'll stop you about halfway through. Yada, 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 babble, babble, hiss, hee ha, talk, 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 gobble, gobble, oink, build. Yada, yada, babble, babble, hiss, hee ha, talk, 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 gobble, gobble, oink, a machine, yada, yada, babble, babble, hiss, hee ha, talk, 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 gobble, gobble. Um, that's good. You get the point, right? Basically, even though this looks like a lot of text, a lot of it actually isn't important to what we're trying to figure out, which is the goal. And instead, can I get someone to summarize what they think the goal of this problem is, this imaginary problem? Uh, yeah, build a machine that earns money, perfect, right? So even though this is a full paragraph of text, we really only care about a few, world, a few words, and that's the main goal of this problem. And being able to simplify the problem into a goal like this is a first step in being a great problem solver. So we need to be able to sift through a big wall of text, figure out what's important, what's not, you know, what's kind of useless to us, and identify the main problem. So the second problem solving trick is research. Can I get someone to read the slide here? Research, study what others have done, build on the ideas of others, don't reinvent the wheel. Perfect. This one's pretty self-explanatory, right? Uh, we don't want to be doing redundant work or work that already exists. You know, it's not a good use of our time to, like the slide says, reinvent the wheel, right? If it already exists, let's just build off of what already exists. So, you know, using this logic, we should build on the ideas of others and share our own ideas so others can build off of them. Now we have the third trick, um, and this is related to the other one. Can someone else read this slide? Organize a hotshot team build teamwork exactly so it's all about teamwork people can always accomplish more in collaborative groups than they can by working alone everyone has different strengths and weaknesses so a group of people can bring different strengths and make up for each other's weaknesses to be a stronger group overall so you know build that hotshot team with your friends and have a good time while bringing your best work and everyone should just think about it right is it more fun to work with other people or is it you know more fun to just work alone I think most people probably would agree that it's more fun to work together. So it's a win-win. The fourth trick is, uh, can someone read this slide for me too? Break down a complex solution into simple solutions. Great, right? So in the first picture we see, we've got this crazy complicated system, right? There's like four different uh, figures. There's a bunch of like, different parts, we're not really sure. There's some drummers, there's some guys waving his hand with a bell, um, and it looks like a lot. But if we break down this complex solution into the simple solutions, right? Individual levers, we have gears, we have pieces. Um, each part is easy to build, right? Um, it's a lot easier to understand, and then the larger solution doesn't seem as overwhelming. So remember that you can tackle a complicated looking solution piece by piece. The last trick is to document your progress. Although this doesn't seem like an important step, it's actually really important that you write your work down so you can replicate it later on, if need be, and uh, build off on it and improve it. So these are five problem-solving tricks that any good inventor needs to be successful. And let's practice a last scale documentation by writing these five skills in our lab books. I'd like everyone to make a new page in their lab books and put these five down so we can always look at them when we need a reminder. Thanks so much for listening, everyone, and happy building.